Alrighty guys, welcome back. That's the last video of Persona 5 Royal. It's been a good series, my friends. It has been a very good series. Did you see him? Where could Mona, Akechi-kun, and he be? We've literally looked everywhere. This is our original reality, right? I believe so, yes. The MetaNav is gone. We don't even have a way to check anymore. At any rate, there's no point in worrying about it here. We should work all of this out somewhere else. You're right. Now that I think about it, we've been out all night too. So let's go to Leblon. Hmm? Samire, let's go! Oh, right! I'm home. You didn't tell me you'd be out all night. You should have at least gotten in touch with me about it. I'm sorry, Sojiro. We're the ones who kept her out so late. We should be apologizing for her. And we're all back so early in the morning. We're awfully sorry. Stop apologizing so much. Being worried isn't exactly on my list of favorite activities. But I assume you had a good reason for it, right? Um... Have you seen him at all lately? Uh, him? What are you bringing him up for? You know what his deal is right now, Sojiro? Well, yeah. He's been locked up since last year. Locked up? What's going on? What are you guys talking about? Well, I was going to ask you that, but now I'm getting a strange feeling that I've been seeing him until fairly recently. Anyways, why don't you all take a seat before I go over his situation? So, he's in juvenile detention. Well, I need to stock up on a few supplies before I open up shop. Feel free to hang out here while I'm out. Thank you. So, this is our original reality, right? Or are we in another different one now? You know, these unexpected changes could actually be the end results of our actions in our own reality. Remember how he was originally planning on turning himself into the police? Then akechi -kun did it for him instead. But that took place in Dr. Maruki's reality. Which means he's currently... So everything that would have happened if it weren't for Dr. Maruki, now it's actually happened? You know, what y'all are saying is starting to make sense. But in that case, in the real reality, uh, I, I mean, the reality we're in right now, what happened with Morgana and Akechi? Don't say it. Just like with my mom. No Morganas. Did someone say my name? This again? Recycle gags suck! Why do you always have to get us all worried like that? How are you here? Looks like it really was just the metaverse me who disappeared. Eventually, I woke up in Shibuya. Getting all the way back here took some time. Come on, don't scare us like that! Oh, uh, but wait, does that mean Akechi's... What is it, Mona-chan? Well... About him... No... I can't believe the catchy sons really. What the hell? So he was fighting that hard, knowing he was gonna disappear the whole time. So he's incarcerated, and a catchy is. I thought I'd braced myself for the decision we made, but this truly is a harsh reality. We all decided to live our real lives and look to the future from here. But even so, I. I just can't accept Senpai being stuck behind bars. Why don't we try to help him somehow? Nice. I'm impressed with the idea. Yeah, we won't put up with this injustice. But what can we do to actually help him get out of there? I, I remember Sis telling me a while ago, in order to overturn a sentence, you need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. 
So what you're saying is we just gotta find that evidence, right? Then we're on the case. There's no time for us to waste. We're going to show off what the Phantom Thieves are capable of. One last time. That's right. Let's go. We're gonna save our leader no matter what it takes. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Now that we know the name, all we need is an address. You're right. We'll succeed if we all do it together. Sis has yet to say anything, but I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. Thanks. Make sure you give my regards to Shiho-san. Oh, could we try getting their help as well? I'm sure they would gladly cooperate. That would be a great help. I'll leave that to you. Mm -hmm. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him. No matter what. I already told you. There was nothing wrong with his conduct. I was his guardian, so I should know best. Hm. I bet you're just trying to dig up some dirt. You probably want to pin a crime on him. But I'm not going to let that happen, you hear me? I'll announce his name as the key figure in the completion of the medicine at the next conference. I've heard that Miwa-chan's progress is going well. Indeed, that's true, but... I'm certain that this will help prove his good character in the trials. Please. I want to increase his chances of being found innocent as much as possible. I see. So that's why. You'll cooperate too, right? And so we need to release an official opinion from this school to object his arrest to the police. You'll all agree with me, correct? What good are teachers if they don't believe in their students? Yeah, that's the kid. Also, you guys know someone in public security, right? Won't you introduce me to him? I have to protect him. Using whatever means necessary. I'm begging you. P please, I, I beg of you. Please help me collect enough signatures. I, I want to help a friend who's innocent. He's a really good guy. He always fights for the sake of others. He's... He's my best friend! Well... So basically, the reason why we were able to come to our senses is because he saved us. And now he's in a crisis himself. I believe it's our turn to save him this time. But our words alone won't reach anyone. That's why I need Yokota-san and everyone's help. Won't you please protest the police with me? Please! Please tell me if you know of this young man. I need testimonies from people to use in this special article in regards to him. Did he truly look like a boy who would cause an assault here? There's a discrepancy in the other residents' testimonies in the court decision at the time. Please, you have to remember. A certain young man is faced with a dilemma due to the unjust oppression by the government. He is suffering from a crime he did not commit. He is a promising young man who will support this country's future. What justice is there in a country without it being able to save such an individual? This cannot be allowed. Look at the guy ranked number one in these rankings. Isn't his score amazing? I really want to go up against him, but I heard he's been arrested for some crime he didn't commit. But I can't help him out with just myself alone. We need tons more people's voices, like on online forums and getting signatures and stuff. You have to say with me that it makes no sense that he's been arrested when he's done nothing bad. Please, please help him out.
Yes, it's thanks to that young man. I would still be trapped in that awful match-fixing if not for his support. And now, this honest gentleman is locked up in Juvenile Hall, despite being innocent. This time, I wish to be the one to come to his rescue. Please, he doesn't belong in juvenile detention at all. I swear I'll make up for the missed practice. Please, let me take just a short break. Uh, coach? No deal. But... I've got a few connections up my own sleeve that'll probably be more useful than simply doing your own legwork. I'll also try calling around to check if any of my other trainees have some useful info. But if I do this for you, it means you're continuing practice as scheduled. Got it? I'm sure it's what he'd want for you, too. Thank you so much, Coach. You escape the prison of the heart only to be imprisoned in reality. What a most ironic outcome. Your wish for others' happiness prevailed over your own. However, I feel as though all is finally well. In the end, you willingly chose the correct path. Most importantly, you never compromised your values for your own well-being. The final arcana you have acquired is the world. It is the power for an individual to stand on their own two feet, swayed by none. That power shall fuel the hope shared amongst your friends and yourself to strive towards a better future. With the world, you are no longer without a place to belong and will never trudge a path alone again. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Long time no see. We met last on Christmas Eve, right? Uh, it, never mind, it, it's nothing. I have two great pieces of news for you today. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the metaverse's existence would be difficult, but I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. That wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. Regardless, the righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. 
Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. Thank you. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. <laughs> that's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... one more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. I wanted to reform the system, but I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. Hey, you kept me waiting. Jeez. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. But Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? And it'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. It's not moving at all. Due to the railway incident this morning, widespread delays have impacted the various lines and... Another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? <laughs> you never change, huh? Thinking back, I was pretty awful to you. Throwing you in that storage room all by yourself. And again, soon you're gonna be... Made some great friends here. You better thank them when we get back, all right? Whoa! You did it! It has been a while. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. And the best for last, me. So we meet again. It's good to see you. All right, so let's grab a table. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Now we're only missing one last person. She texted me a little while ago that she's finished with practice and heading here. I'm guessing she'll be here any minute now. Sorry I'm late. Senpai. Um, welcome back. All right, that's everyone. Come on, Sumire, take a seat. Man, it went well, yeah? I'm so glad we didn't give up. This was certainly worth the effort. We didn't know what to do once you were gone, but then we realized something. Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. If we didn't do that at the very least, we'd be betraying the entire reason we stood up to Maruki. We'll oppose the injustices of this reality with our own strength. That's what we all agreed upon. Ever since then, we've been doing just that. Busting our asses trying to get you out of the clink. Not just us. 
Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we've got our leader back. <laughs> right back at ya. They treated you fine, right? Actually, did you lose some weight? It would be understandable. I've heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, uh, what did you eat? Was it bugs? Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? You're missing the point. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. Boss is out getting stuff for our party right now. Come on, everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate! <laughs> I guess you really were hungry. Oh, and that wasn't you? Sorry about that. Oh, it was Sumire. Sojiro will be back soon, just to hang in there. Oh, yeah! Uh, sorry for not minding my business. But we heard from Boss, you're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? Sure, we proved you're not guilty, but people are still gonna label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just gonna be uncomfortable going back? What's the matter? We were all so excited a moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? <laughs> I was serious when I said it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. About that, there's something I need to tell you guys. I've decided to go with him when he leaves. He's pretty special after all. Plus, we need someone there in case he turns back into a delinquent. Come on, we've known each other long enough. You don't have to say that kind of stuff to me. Either way, I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. I don't know. Is that important? You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Oh, how dare you! Sumire, at least you're on my side, right? Uh, me? Then, what say we call this a second round welcoming party? That's the ticket, my re-welcoming party. Nobody can complain about that. So, for the food at my party, I demand sushi! Sushi! Man, you guys are loud. I could hear you from outside. Chief, they're so mean! <sighs> Noisy as always. Hey, I'm not some normal cat! <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here. No, I would much rather have sushi than something like... <clears throat> this is delicious! <laughs> what an assertive little guy. I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> That's just part and parcel of who I am. The one, the only, Morgana. Stop trying to talk so big. You're just a cat now. Shut up. I don't need to hear that from some dumb ape. What was that? It's things like that. You get angry so fast. Oh, and you're vulgar. You little... Why don't you go disappear again? Shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, not fighting! They're at it again. <laughs> you guys never change, do you? Seriously, that weirdo Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? Don't worry. Being weird is just a sign of your individuality. Uh, you don't need to defend him about that. <laughs> well, anyways, we're all here now. Let's kick this party off! Very well. Sojiro, I want sushi! Good old Phantom Thieves. Hmm. Delicious food, fluffy sheets. I guess home is what you make of it, even in this abandoned building of all places. Take care of me like this back home too, okay? Th this game is so stupid, making me leave. 
Having the tail end of Maruki's palace when I was actually flying? That wasn't a dream, right? No, I don't know. <sighs> don't blow me off here. I mean, I'm pretty sure it really did happen, but I still can't figure out how it was even possible. So this is just a theory, but... Don't lose... Uh, don't you still have that star Jose gave you? Oh, is that the reason? Oh. Hey, it's... Oh, it's all gone. This was shining the last time you looked at it, right? So it really was the effect of the star. Really? Fucking Jose? Of course it was, now that I think about it. There's no other way that the idea of a cat converting into a helicopter could suddenly become a common cognition. We're through with the metaverse, and it only happened in the most extreme of emergencies. So I have a feeling that won't be happening again anytime soon. Oh no, what will we do? I'm glad you made it back. I'm sorry I couldn't pick, up, pick you up when you got released. I'd like to see you tomorrow night if that's okay. Oh yeah, baby. Don't respond. Fuck off. Come on. I'll see you tomorrow then. Good night. Guten Nachten. You never change, Come do on. you? Let's go to bed. What are you talking about, Mona? From tomorrow onward, right? Mona's acting like I took the Halim route. I clearly did not take the Harim route. Oh, Phantom Thieves. Phantom Thieves. Oh, today's Valentine's Day. Actually, when is Valentine's Day? It's somewhere around now. Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh, boy. Good evening. I didn't know you were still working. Sorry for stopping by so late. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. That's considerate of him. I hope I'm not imposing. I know I already saw you before. But I really wanted to have some time with you today, so I thought I'd stop by on the way home from practice. <laughs> Same here. <sighs> I had so much I was going to say once I finally got to talk to you, but now that you're here, and I can see your face for myself, none of it seems so important anymore. It's alright. I understand why you did what you did. On another note, I brought you something. It's chocolate, since it's Valentine's Day today. Normally, I'd find that a little melodramatic, but I'm glad to hear it, really. Just checking, but we're back in the real world, right? Oh, I wanted to say, Senpai, I... Ever since that day, I've finally been living for myself, as myself, and from now on, I always will. Uh, so, um, may I sit next to you? You're going back to your hometown soon, yes? <laughs> it's sweet of you to ask. But I'm going to keep working hard. Wherever you are, I'll make sure you hear about me. She always said she performed best when thinking about someone she loved. I think I finally understand Kasumi, what she was trying to say. When I think about you, I get the feeling the competition's going to go just fine. I think you know what I mean. Oh, babe. Baby, baby. You know, the Sumi romance is so cringe because you only have a month with her. Like two months, and then it's like, oh, timing. game over. You got a guest. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course.
You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. I'm the one who should be thanking you. So, thank you. Well, look at this hotshot. Lucky guy having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. Wait, if you have no romance, then... Does Joker say nothing? Or does she say something different if you have no romance? And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. Not really, though, because I'll be leaving in a month, because this is a shit game. Oh. I heard they finally turned you loose. I'm glad you're doing okay. I expected at least a phone call, though. Who are you? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Anyhow, you're free, and that's worth celebrating. Oh, wouldn't this chocolate be like melted from being? I was hoping I'd get a chance to. All these girls over, holding so on to it and everything, timing. like you what know the how fuck? It was Valentine's Day yesterday. It's just a token of my appreciation, so don't go feeling guilty about not getting me anything. How about you consider it a sign of trust from one comrade to another? See ya. Morning. We usually don't run into each other here, huh? Oh, yeah. This is for you. I was going to give it to you at school, but as long as we're both here, have some chocolate. You know, for Valentine's Day. As friends. Close friends. Uh, I'll be counting uh. on you. She just brushed that off so easily. She was like, huh? Get the fuck away from me, a mama mia. Oh. Great timing. I was just headed to your classroom. Here, take this. What is all this Giri Choco? Like, what the fuck? It's chocolate. Think of it as a token of appreciation for all you do for us. <laughs> where am I where am I keeping all this chocolate? Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be a big deal. See you again soon, okay? They're also platonic. I mean, I understand why. I've, I've denied every single one of them, but still. Hello. Hello, Haru. I'm glad I caught you. I wanted to give you this. I thought it'd be best to wait until today. After all, if you got one from someone special, I wouldn't want to intrude. You always do so much for me. This is the least I could give in return. Of course. We should get coffee again sometime, too. Just let me know when you're free. Oh, I'm glad I got to see you. Oh, yeah, you definitely weren't waiting out like a stalker. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of uh, Mitsuo Kubo from Persona 4 Golden and Yukiko, the one scene. I'm relieved you're safe. Uh, do you, do you want to go out somewhere? On that note, I have a small gift for the occasion, if you'll accept it. Apparently these days, people give chocolate to friends, even when it's purely platonic. Seems like a fine opportunity to celebrate your return, and express my gratitude. I hope Shogi brings us even closer together. Hello there. I knew you'd be here. Oh, I don't mean I've been watching you. I just read your fortune. Now that that's cleared up, please take this. It's to celebrate your freedom. And to say thanks for everything you do. If you ever need my power again, all you have to do is ask. I'll always be happy to help you. Welcome back. I wasn't sure I'd even see you, but... I guess this is good timing. Here, take this. Figured you deserved a little appreciation. <laughs> Who knows? Don't get your hopes up. Sounds like you've been Oof. through a lot. It's 
it's kind of a relief to see you're the same as ever. God Remember, damn. I'm pretty close by if you ever come down with something. Call whenever you need to. What a fucking see you later babe. Then. What an absolute babe. I think out of all the adult confidants... It's sudden, but could you watch the store? Are you gonna give me some chocolate? I think out of all the adult confidants, I'd say Takemi is my favorite. Kawakami's good too, though. I gotta head out for a bit. There's definitely some good ones. Keep an eye on things. Oh, were you working? Sorry to distract you. I thought I'd stop by on the way home from work. Partly so I could give you this. You've done so much for me, after all. I wanted to say thanks. Oh, and I didn't get to say it at work, but... Welcome back. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, right. I whipped up a little study guide for the classwork you missed. It should cover most of the important stuff. If you're still having trouble with any of it, you can always ask me, okay? I'm your teacher. That's my job. Anyway, I'll see you at school. Perfect timing! You got a sec? Cool. I just wanted to give you something. Don't worry, not gonna make it weird. Just, if so, Jiro saw he'd get ideas and start freaking out. So, here you go. A chocolatey gift for my friend and squad mate. If you wanna pay me back, I'll take a year's supply of instant noodles. What? You thought I was serious? Relax! It's just a gift from me to you. Cause you're my key item, right? And you always will be. Very wholesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we doing here? What about those 20 days we could be spending with my, I don't know, my girlfriend? Fucking shit game. Everyone free after school tomorrow? There's something I want to talk about, thinking we could all meet up at LeBlanc. Can you check if boss is free too? I can head over when school's finished. All good here, too. Let's all head there when we can. Did something happen with him? I think we've got like another hour, by the way, so just... Hang in there, my friends. Hang in there. I know, it's a lot of, uh... A lot of talking. You sure you want me hanging around? I, I can step out for a bit if you like. No, I'd prefer you stick around. Everyone I owe something to has got to hear this. I'm thinking about moving away. Moving? It's just... A hell of a lot's happened this past year, you know? It's got me thinking about the future. And how I still want to get back on the track team. That's why I want to move closer to a physical rehab facility. Get my knee fixed up while going to school. At the earliest, all this is going to kick off starting next month. I see. That is quite sudden. Hmm. Um? Actually, I've got some news too. I'm in the middle of looking into studying abroad. Just short term. I've been wondering what would be the smartest move for my career, so... You're moving too. Both Haru and I are looking for places to live on our own. Starting next month. In fact, our moves will probably occur around the same time as Ryuji's. I plan to keep learning about the business while also attending college. And that's why Mako-chan and I were talking about how we won't be able to get together like we used to. Are you gonna tell them too? Um, so... I passed the entrance exam. I'm gonna be a high schooler starting in April. First high school, then college. Then I can finally research cognitive science for real. Even you, Futaba? No, I apologize. I should be wishing you all the best of luck. Nah, you do have a point. We are going our separate ways. Oh, you mean the bonds we all have? <laughs> That's a great point. It seems you're all taking great strides forward. I, however, will not be going anywhere until I've completed my current painting. No matter how many years it takes, I will express this feeling that's grown within me since we first banded together. That's still some kind of stride though, ain't it? No matter what we may go through, or how many times we may stumble, we'll follow the path we believe in. That's what the Phantom Thieves are all about. 
Stop trying to be such a cool cat. I am not a cat! Yeah, I guess I am. There's still no way I'm accepting Doc's reality, but if it weren't for going through that, I don't know if I would have felt this way now. It's like following through with what I want to do in life. I guess I learned how to really believe in my future. In that case, wouldn't you say Sumire learned the same thing? I mean, she is at training camp right now. Indeed. While her viewpoint may differ from the Phantom Thieves' beliefs, there's still much we can learn from her. Oh, that reminds me. Sumire left something with me. She told me she forgot to give us this the other day. Is that a newspaper clipping? Guess it was lying on the ground when we got out of Dr. Maruki's palace. This article! It's the case about Dr. Maruki's loved one. The one whose family was murdered. I'd be willing to bet. This is Doc's treasure. So her case was the origin of Maruki's distortion. Would you hold on to this? We've all got to keep living with our eyes focused on our dreams. Otherwise, Dr. Maruki is going to give us all kinds of shit. You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, I'm very impressed. You've all become quite mature. So let me throw you a little celebration in honor of the next chapters of your lives. Order whatever you'd like on me. Thank you. Oh yeah! It's all you can eat and drink, people! Uh, uh, huh? Boss, thank you for the generosity. Uh, that wasn't what I said. Could you at least go easy on me? Everybody <laughs> down! <laughs> All right, whatever you guys want. Woohoo! Oh, oh, great yeah. cheese! Grab a Are we sushi? lucky? Sushi! Hello, senpai. Sorry for messaging you so late. I just want to send you this picture from our first shrine visit of the year. Aw, it looks so nice. It's already been two months. I've got a lot of mixed feelings about this picture, I guess. That's supposed to be me there, but it just isn't. It really makes me realize how buried I was in her identity. I'm not gonna run away anymore. Actually, there's one more photo I want you to see. It's kind of embarrassing, but this is a photo my coach took of me. Training is tough and it's really hard sometimes, but... I feel like I'm finally moving forward with my life. When you tell me these things, I feel like I could take on the whole new whole world. I'll make our dream come true, I'll do it as myself, not as Kasumi. I'll climb all the way to the top of the gymnastics world. So could you keep watching over me until then? Yeah, of course, until I have to leave, of course. <laughs> Cause the game is shit. Falling apart of the slightest thing, I guess that means I really am back to being Sumire. My break's over, I have to get back to training. Talk to you later. <sighs> Staying on her own two feet now, we'll fight for our goals too. It's some dog shit. The ending to this game is so bad. Oh god, and the final cutscene too. Ugh, so cringe. Oh yeah, are you ready for tomorrow? <laughs> White day. That's tomorrow, right? You got some chocolates on Valentine's Day, didn't you? And White Day's when you return the favor. The men do the gifting. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Hmm. Get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. Fine. Listen up, and I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. Whoa. The chief has an ultimate date plan? I'd better listen in too, just in case. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her, so you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You gotta want somewhere with the right atmosphere, but it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might be a good spot, right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. 
Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. It's kind of last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Day. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Oh, wait, what? Oh, damn it. I don't usually do this, but I know a place. Can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up, too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing! Chief has connections! So, once you're at dinner, you get to talking, enjoying yourselves, and that's when you give it to her. Whoa, are you sure about that? There's something you gotta give her, and it sure as hell isn't the bill. The flowers, remember? We covered this before. You need that surprise gift. That ought to do it. Just follow the plan and you're safe. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep and make those reservations. Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. You should start prepping right away. Don't waste the chief's advice, all right? Okay, so take her to a cheap place and give her the bill. Got Let's it. see. The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant chief told you about? Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? Yes, I was, Yusuke. Table for two. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. Oh? White day is crazy, huh? But don't worry. All you have to do is mention the chief. I'm a friend of Sojiro Sakura. You're a friend of Mr. Sakura's? My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now yeah, you get on that, Yusuke. Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready for you. Thank you, thank you. Dang. The chief has serious clout. Clout? Ask your name and contact information. Okay. Your dinner plans are locked in. Now you just gotta get the flowers, and then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we'd better get rest while we can. I think it's pretty appropriate that you take, that no matter what, you go to the aquarium. Cause that's like, that's one of Sumi's favorite places to go, so. Today's the day. Let's go get those flowers. Yay. Why are they playing the Hawaii music again? Whatever. Doesn't matter too much. It is what it is, I suppose. Oh, yes. Shucks. Shucks. Can I buy some stuff? Hey, think harder about this. Fuck me, man. Well, give me like a. Let me buy something at least. Oh, what brings you here today? I'm here for a surprise I present. See. Okay, leave it to me. Excellent. That should do it. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, that comes out to. Hold on. Let me cover this one. You've been taking care of me yourself, so... I need to express appreciation for you, too. Scarlet Rose. Good luck! I'm rooting for you! Okay, now you're all ready for the date. You know who you plan on inviting, right? Don't worry, I'm a gentleman who knows his manners. I won't be tagging along. Alright, good luck out there. What does the florist think listening to this cat just ma meow in my ear? <laughs> I'm going to invite. Why? If you have more than one person on this list, you do not deserve to invite anybody. What happens if you have nobody? Yes, Yoshizawa speaking. Right now? Of course, that's fine. I don't have practice today, so I'll head over right away. See you there. That's awfully convenient. Didn't really think that one through, Joker. He didn't even think about inviting her the night before. The fuck? so many different kinds of fish. I'd never have realized just seeing them from a distance. They're all so beautiful. Come to think of it, I remember we had a family trip to an aquarium when I was younger. Kasumi was so excited to see the fish, but apparently I was so scared I cried the whole time. Oh, I'm having fun now. Hmm. Um, senpai? 
If I'm wrong, you can just tell me. But is this a date for White Day? I knew it! I'm so glad I got to spend it with you, Senpai. Since we're on a nice date like this, though, we might as well have fun. Oh, wait! I think this is the end of the exhibit. Thank you for taking me out today. I'll be even more motivated for tomorrow's practice. What? Well, I suppose I'll take you up on that. This restaurant is beautiful. I'm impressed, Senpai. Of course! Oh, right. Inside voices. Sorry about that. Love is so strange. I feel so happy when I'm with my boyfriend, but even tiny failures get me so depressed. As long as I've got you, though, I feel like I can get through anything. Oh, senpai, I'm glad we're on the same level. Um, so to speak. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. Huh? Looks like something's happening. Oh, it's gorgeous! What the fuck? God damn. God damn. Where are you keeping those? Whatever. What? Thank you so much. Look, flowers aren't flowers a shit gift. I never gift? saw this coming, but I'm so so happy. Really? How did I get so lucky? I guess you put a lot of effort into this date, but I shouldn't have expected anything less, senpai. You take care of everybody. And you always put their happiness before anything else. But I don't want this to be one-sided. One day, I want to take care of you like you do for me. Though, I guess that might not be for a while. Thank you. It'll definitely happen eventually. So please be patient. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little too worked up about it. Um, we still have some time left tonight. So... Can I stay with you just a little longer? We haven't even eaten yet, so I hope so. Once it got late, I walked her back to the station. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean? You didn't take her back to LeBlanc? What are you doing, Joker? What are you doing? Now we gotta have this sad-ass cutscene. Hey, you're finally taking off tomorrow. Sojiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. Off you go then. Try not to cry. <laughs> Shut up. Try not to cry. There's only this one bad scene. There's one really bad scene. Good news. Kana John passed her high school entrance exam. She sent me a message this morning. I told her I was getting into high school too. And she says we can make our student debuts together. So, you know that promise in the book? The one about going to school? This means, like, I did it. Right? Ooh, sounds good to me. And I've got something else to look forward to. It had better be good. Don't let me down. Honestly, though, the idea of not having Sojiro or everyone else around is the scariest part. But I know I can't stay in my room forever. And that's way more important. I feel like I've been getting more curious every day. I want to see and learn so much stuff. So. I want you to have this. It's proof I'm moving on. As I only changed this much thanks to the notebook. And you, of course. If you ever feel lonely, just look at this notebook and remember that I've got your back. Okay? Oh. Saying goodbye to me? I'll cut it out. You're gonna see me tomorrow. Just remember to pack once you get back, here. I don't want you forgetting anything important here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, I forgot about this. 
the diary of the Phantom Thieves' leader, huh? Probably gonna be worth a lot someday. Thanks, though. I'll keep it safe. Well, we've all been through a lot, but it seems like everything's changed for the better. Try to behave yourself back home, would you? <laughs> Not like you ever listened to me anyway. Here, I want you to have these. Yeah, I've got them memorized already. With that stuff, you can make the same... Well, no, that'd be a waste. Put your own spin on the flavor. Develop it. Make it yours. Come on, you should get going. Still got things to do, right? I'll just add this. Oh, I gotta make a save. I gotta make a save. I gotta make a save, man. It's getting too emotional. Oh god. Okay. Um who's this guy? I've cast away my life as a film critic and discovered how I can truly shine for humanity. You won't be able to talk to me like this for much longer. I don't care. Fear not, friend. Even okay, why am I talking to you? Get the fuck out of here. Yes, great. Hilarious, bro. Okay. Can I talk to the old man? Hey, hey. The old man was really good to us. Oh, you can thank him. Oh. Well, we're gonna miss you. You take care, alright? Oh, what the fuck? Wait, that's so nice, actually. Hey. I'm never gonna forget that incredible home run. Nice. This is where we came to buy Hot Pot. Wait, what the fuck's going on? I didn't know they did all this stuff. Oh, it's Mr. Guinea Pig. Hey, mister, why are you a guinea pig? I'm so sorry for my daughter's behavior. Hello, I'm Mr. Guinea Pig. Don't you remember that he's part of the reason why you're feeling better? I can't even imagine what would have happened if we didn't go to that clinic. I can't thank the two of you enough. Nice. The movie Cedar was saved. Movie Cedar? What the fuck am I saying? Movie Cedar. Oh, did you come for an examination? The pain in my foot has gone down so much. Now I can even go on walks. Oh, hey. You're going home tomorrow, right? Then let me give you an update. So, about Miwa-chan. Her symptoms started fading pretty soon after administering the new medicine. Yeah, I can't wait. It's... Thank you for supporting me through it all. Same goes for the situation with Oyamata. You did everything you could to help me with it. I don't know where all that devotion comes from. Maybe I should take a cue from you. Here. I want you to have this. You saved Miwa-chan. It's only fair that you get to meet her someday. Let's see. Once Miwa-chan's all better, maybe the both of us could take a trip to visit you. <laughs> Keep your health in check. I want you there to welcome us with a smile, okay? So good. So good. So good and so depressing. <laughs> so good and so depressing. I made it into the middle school I wanted. Uh, good job, kids. You look like you're doing well. I decided to stop by after work. I used to come by this area on occasion. I was always a fan of LeBlanc's coffee. It's tomorrow, right? The day you go home? <laughs> right. I'm taking you in. On the record, you've been cleared of all the crimes you were accused of. Unfortunately, the stigmas that came with them are a little harder to simply wipe away. You might find that even now, sometimes it'll feel like the whole world's against you. So, just in case, take this. Whenever you need help, I'll be on your side. Remember that. I'll be doing my part to bring some real justice to our legal system. Can't rely on the Phantom Thieves forever. Can't rely on them forever. Uh, ooh, let's go to the spa. Remember the spa, Mona? Oh. This bathhouse was a nice place. I love the Mount Fuji mural inside. Nice. This is where we did all our laundry, huh? See it. Yeah. Oh. Being able to get a drink of 100 yen was too good of a deal. Very true. That was quite true indeed. This area is quiet as always. It's almost like it's always so growing with age. There's nothing we can do about it. Things just don't get better that easily. Why don't we plant a flower? Mm -hmm. Great. Spring is a season of meetings and partings. Send so us some supportive messages you have for people who are ready to start a new life. Man, fuck this game. Why is this ending so sad? I really. Uh, I'm getting. I'm getting into a bad zone here. You're almost in first grade. You're best in school, okay? I made a promise with Kotaro. Kotaro? Mm -hmm. 
Who is Kotaro? The chief's house, they're both in LeBlanc and no one's here. I remember the first time we came here to see Futaba. And the way Makoto freaked out. Oh, you're talking about that very canon moment? I would have to agree. I would have to agree. Um, okay, okay. Let's see, there's Lavenza. Hey, Lavenza. So, you have come to say farewell. I have some words of reflection for you in this time of parting. This twisted, broken world sought to crush you. Yet you salvaged it, and with your ideals stitched it whole. You were a true trickster of this modern age, a beloved champion of a burdened public, and a man of such great heights. Well, where will his path take him next, I wonder? Now, I don't know about that. To accompany a trickster on so twisting and winding a path, I fear I'd soon be outpaced. I have more than mere words to give you today, though. Allow me to grant you a parting gift. Not as the one who leads you, but simply as Levenza. This is my blessing to you, to carry on your journey. You were confined to yourself for so long. Now, at last, it seems only right that you bear its key. In the past, Guests of the Velvet Room have received their keys upon their very first visits. However, I was unable to pass it on to you at that point. This is the least I can do for you now. With this key in hand, you will be able to break free of whatever trials may imprison you in the future. Though of course, you have already chosen the path of true freedom. By inspiring others to take up arms and fight for their own beliefs, you may change the world itself. You walk the path of a true trickster. May it lead you to fortune beyond imagining. Hmm, oh, so good, man. So, so good. Hey. Now's not the time to be looking for fashionable secondhand clothes. Shut up, Mona. I want to go to the jazz club. See what the jazz club we have to say there. Oh, so sorry. Well, you're friends with Akechi Kun, right? I remember when the two of you came here last, it was rare to see him with another person. I haven't seen Akechi Kun in a while, I'm kind of worried about him. Do me a favor, next time you see him, tell him to come by again. What the fuck? I didn't come here for this shit. It's Akechi's glove. My fight with Akechi isn't over yet. Wait, what? But you and Akechi Kun can swing by any time. Do come again, I'll be looking forward to it. Wait, what the fuck? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, Haru. The schools are all on spring break. I just happen to know some of the cafes around here. I often take strolls in this area on my breaks. Everyone needs time to relax once in a while. Especially Haru, she does have a tendency to stretch herself too thin. I like to ask that you occasionally spend that kind of time with her. Just leave it to me. I have complete confidence that I can entrust her within you. What the fuck was that a catchy thing? That's got me thinking now. Hey, hey. We spent a lot of time here. Yeah, I spent a lot of time with the darts in this game. I spent... Stop drinking? Wait, what? Sake reporter? This guy drinks sake for a living and reports on it? That's kind of cool. Hmm? That's kind of cool. Interesting. Uh, let's go to... Um, Seaside Park. We'll do the little areas first. Mika-chan! Right here! How's this? That's perfect. You're absolutely radiant today as always. Thanks a bunch! What do you want? Of course I am, like I'm gonna let myself lose to a certain other dolt. Just you watch, I'm gonna work my way up to the top. Did you say something, Mika-chan? Nothing at all, so what pose did you want me to do next? Fucking Mika-chan. Fucking Mika-chan. It's been a while. I just got a call from Kitagawa-kun. A new theme. He didn't give me the details, but I was able to pick up the gist of it, something about friendship. I'm so excited, I can hardly contain it. Rather, I'm becoming of a person my age, I know, but still. I'm sure you understand, though, whatever it is he comes up with, it'll sure be a masterpiece. I didn't actually do these last time. It's actually quite a lot of stuff I missed out on. It's good, it's good. I like it. Focus. Oh, you're the one who played Shogi of Toko-san. She's become much more skilled since then, no doubt he had a hand in that. You may always seek sanctuary here. Oh, you came to visit. You're going home tomorrow, correct? To tell you the truth, I have an important shogi tournament tomorrow as well. Yes, 
Thanks to you. Lately, I've been able to sense my own growth. If I do well, that will make it 10 straight wins. I'll work hard so I can give you a good report. That's quite a smile. Like a knight standing victorious at the end of a grand siege. But I suppose a knight can't remain idle for too long. His presence is still needed elsewhere, I take it? If my shogi skills have truly helped such a dauntless champion, then it has been an honor and a pleasure. From one player to another, I have a parting gift for you. The lance piece moves exclusively forward. Until it is promoted, it can only move onward, never back. So let us continue on our own paths, even if we have to part ways for now. One day, when the two of us lances have been promoted, we will retrace our steps and meet again. Oh, that's so good. It's so good. Like, it's really, really, really good. I figured out why I was, rent I was renting an ideal boyfriend. Who the fuck is this? I have no idea who you are. Sorry, lady. Oh yeah. This cafe was better than LeBlanc in some ways. I don't think it was better at all. It's pretty shit, actually. Oh. Can't you buy electronics after you move? I want to talk to the guy. Oh, it's Mishima. Oh. So you're finally heading home tomorrow, huh? I guess this means the Phantom Thieves have disbanded. My documentary script is going well, though. It's not really close to done, but it's coming along. Wait, we're making this a series? I don't know if it'll be that big of a deal. But if I actually get this done, I guess it'd be a waste to stop at one. It makes me wonder how many people I can reach with my work. It's exciting, but kind of scary, too. It might be a bestseller, or it might just fade into obscurity. But I want to put my hope into this. It's a message from the old me to everyone in the world. So, even if I'm scared of failing, I'll face this head on. Just like you did with that first calling card. Oh yeah, it's still a pretty early draft, but... It'd mean a lot if you could read it sometime. I could really use your feedback. You probably had tons of crazy fights I don't even know about, right? So, we should sit down and talk about them sometime. The more of it I get on record, the better. I'll make sure the story of the Phantom Thieves goes down in history. Mm-hmm. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. You want to spend a nice day like this with some maids? You should rethink your life choices. Call me Master. Welcome, Master. I'm so very glad you've arrived. I've heard that you're going to quit being a maid? I don't hate being a maid, but this isn't something I'm excited about doing. You're the one who taught me that we should all do what we really want. I don't even remember most of these people. Got some got some weirdos around here. Oh no! Hey, hey. I missed this. No, I missed the final doll. Are you fucking kidding? Fuck. Man. Hey, uh, you're uh, I don't care about this guy. Don't care. Thank you. Yep, whatever. Whatever, what are you gonna do? I've done this game so many times, I can't listen to the same people all the time. That's my excuse. Oh, look, the exact same thing. Another person I don't really care about too much. I can't get that a catchy thing out of my mind. That's... That's fucking with me. That Kichi Joji guy. That's really fucking with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Okay, let's do the let's do the big ones now. Holy shit, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of fucking people. It's kind of cool you it's kind of cool, cool you go to Ayami Chome for this one because obviously it's a Sunday. Oh, I thought you could sit there for a sec. I was just getting some of my college enrollment papers ready. Soon enough, I'll be living on my own too. <laughs> New beginnings for both of us, I suppose. Thanks. You'd better take care of yourself back home too. My sister and I are actually going to look at my new place soon. A year ago, all this would have been unthinkable for me. But nobody told me to do this. It's a path I chose for myself. If I'd never met you and stayed a simple honor student, I never realized I had that choice. So, I want you to have this. 
It helped me learn to love studying. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy, but I also know I'll never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. We fought back together, so it seems only fair you keep it. I want you to know that you're an irreplaceable comrade to me. Always have been, always will be. Why did she pick this location? I can barely hear her. Eh, whatever, whatever. Why didn't you just go to the school gate like any normal person? Oh, these are the the Ryuji guys. Does uh, Sakamoto tell you yet? He's gonna be doing track again. That guy's crazy. But man, I'm glad I'll get to run with him again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever. Oh, what a coincidence. I'm about to give a lecture. Did you come to see the campus? You're going back home tomorrow, right? Make sure you keep up your studies there, okay? You are preparing for your entrance exams, after all. Let me know if there's anything you need, okay? This is the last time we'll see each other for a while. You can at least look a little sad about it. I'm kidding. Honestly, seeing you so happy gives me peace of mind. Now that you're heading out into the world, I've got a present for you. It sounds like the setup to a joke. A student bumps into his teacher in a full French maid outfit, but somehow, that opened up all kinds of new paths in my life. You taught me so much. You're not just my best student. You were a great master. I can make up for all the times I distanced myself from my students. I'll help anyone who needs it. The point is, I'll put in the work. I learned a lot from you, and I won't let that go to waste. Ah, good, good stuff. Well, what do you mean? We can have, we can at least talk about those areas. Let's sigh. Okay, let's see. Haru Yusuke on Ryuji. Okay. Let's go to the airsoft shop. Hey, it's uh, your kid. I'm glad I could see you. Dad told me today's your last day here. What's wrong? I just had to tell you this in person. I'll be a Shujin student. Why are you going to Shujin? I know I said I admire the Phantom Thieves, but I think you're amazing too. I want to be just like you. I figured I could start by going to the same school as you. Yeah, good fucking luck. Gotta catch a sale before it ends. Talk to you later. Why would you want to go to that school? I hear you're heading home tomorrow. Perfect. I got a story for you. Karu got accepted to high school. He'll be a Shujin Academy student in the spring. <laughs> Apparently, he wants to become like you. Just to have his back. Okay? Well, being a bro means someone will be following in your footsteps. But I can't leave everything to you. I'm the parent here, so I gotta do my job. Oh, yeah, here. It's an EY family gecko. Take good care of it, okay? Having you around the place helped me realize times sure have changed. But I'm not going obsolete just yet. I still got more to learn, just like you. Looks like you got plenty of guys following your lead now. I'm real glad we met. Take care. I'll Aww. just add this. Oh, that's so nice. It's so nice and wholesome. Just everything about this is just so wholesome. And that's what makes the ending even, even worse. <laughs> oh, did you come here for souvenirs? This place has everything. I'm busy getting ready for my study abroad, too. Gotta research schools, places to live. But we're all splitting off to do our own thing, huh? Honestly, it's not really hitting me yet. Yeah, totally. It's not like we're all leaving forever. I mean, we still have the group chat. I'll still be messaging you all, and you gotta respond. Also, for the record, you can't see Sumi or Maruki in this, so yeah. By the way, um, a little girl stopped me the other day in Shibuya. She said she saw me in magazines, and that she wants to be just like me when she grows up. It felt incredible. Oh, right. Vague did a special piece on me in this month's issue. <laughs> Vague? Whoa. I said it all in the interview, but I'm gonna work hard. One day, I'll be modeling across the world. I've gotta reach people. I wanna give someone hope, like you did for me. Thank you for all you've done. The days I spent with you were some of the brightest in my life. Once I'm a star, I'm gonna shine even brighter, though. So you watch out for me. God damn. Fucking A. 
This shit gets emotional. It gets more emotional than I remember. Don't take any prisoners. Never thought I'd get this far playing legit. Maybe I didn't need the cheats after all. Good old... Isn't that guy like 30 or something? Yo, Whatever. Man, spring break's supposed to be the most fun part of the year, but instead you're just moving away. Then again, so am I. I guess this is probably the last time we'll be meeting up here. Dude, don't say it like that. You make it sound like I'm gonna die or something. Look, this isn't gonna be the last time we see each other. I'll come visit whenever you want. Honestly, even with the rehab, I don't know if my leg's ever gonna be how it was before. But when I think about how much I want to run, well, I figure there's no point lying to myself. Nothing's guaranteed. I don't know if I'm gonna get anywhere, but well, you could say that for any goal, right? I don't want to live stuck on regrets or shame. I, I'd rather just run and keep on running. And hey, you better practice too. See, if we share our times, we can even compete from far away. Man, when I think about going to school without you guys, I don't know. I can't imagine it. It's nice feeling like I got a future worth looking forward to for once, though. And it's all thanks to you, man. Thanks, vulgar boy. You'll always hold a deep, deep place in my heart, vulgar boy. <laughs> Just keep calling him vulgar boy like an asshole. It's a little strange meeting here. And that reminds me, the new coffee shop venture is progressing toward opening its first location. Actually, I'll be involved with its launch even while attending college. We do have plans to expand into other regions. Perhaps one may pop up in your town. From now on, I'll have to balance my studies and the company. No easy task, I'm sure. But it's all for the sake of making my dream come true. I swear I'll make this work. By the way, I tried making something for you. I'd like to sell handcrafted goods at my cafe as well. So this is the first step in my practice. I want to live up to my grandfather's reputation after all, and my father's legacy. It has to be a comforting, welcoming place for everyone. Some place to spend your peaceful hours. Once it opens, we should all meet up there. Just like our days at Leblanc. Oh, two more people. Two more people. Yusuke and Yoshida. Focus. Remember all those money I spent here, Mona? Hey. I didn't win big, but I'm still happy. I fucking never won. I was so shit. You're heading home tomorrow, I hear. It'll be a new start. You've got my blessing. Whatever that's worth. I recall the days when you helped me out with my speeches here. We'll be treading separate paths, but as long as we share a common purpose, I'm sure I'll see you again. If I've earned the support of an upright young man like you, well, that must surely be my greatest achievement. Uh, this is... Uh, you even have, like, you even have the Sakura up there, you know, and everything. Ah, uh, fuck. You expect farewells to be so sad. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Here we are beaming. From now on, your life is your own to live. Now. I suppose I'd better send you off with a parting gift. It's an incredibly expensive fountain pen I bought back when I'd strayed from the right path. Embarrassingly enough, I hardly used it. I hope you'll put it to better use than I did. Whatever new chapters you write with that pen, I'll be watching for them. I think the fountain pen that the that POTUS uses, President of the United States, I think it's something like a fifth like a fifty thousand dollar pen or something. It's some absolutely ridiculous number. It's a season for partings, huh? Where are you going? It's really nice that I actually have someone to say farewell to me. Considering how foolish of a man I am, I'm not sure if I can atone for my sins. But I'll live the rest of my life thinking of how I can do that. Farewell, young man. Oh, that's so nice, actually. Because that dude, I don't, I don't know if you guys remember, but that dude was immune to Maruki's influence. He said, why is everybody acting so weird lately? So it's kind of a, it's kind of a nice little touch. Oh, that's right. You'll be departing tomorrow. It's sad to see this as a season of farewells, but I didn't expect we'd all go our separate ways. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. This time last year, I'd never have imagined I'd meet you all, leave my home, or become a phantom thief. Do you remember the painting I submitted to that competition? Desire and hope it was. Well, 
I would like to bestow it upon you as a parting gift. As of now, my canvas is still blank. It's not for lack of inspiration. There's so much I want to express, I can barely contain my passion. But my heart has not led me astray yet. I'll paint as it guides me. Even should I scar my work with doubt, hesitation, chaos. Certainly, that's a beauty all its own. Your life is no worse for its own scars. Your truest beauty lies in them. And I hope you tell me their story someday. Uh, I think that's everybody. I think we've seen everybody. Yeah, so Maruki, Maruki and Sumi you can't talk to because the game's stupid. So if you romance them, like the idiot I am, well I didn't romance Maruki, but I did romance Sumi, and uh, can't even say farewell to her. Nice game, not cringe in the slightest. Are you really sure? Yes. Hey, um, I actually have a present for you too. Even when I was human, I kept holding on to this for some reason. Between a cat, a human, or some kind of vehicle. It's been hard to say for sure who or what I am, but whatever else I am, I can say without a doubt, I'm your partner. Well then, we should probably go home and get packed, huh? Oh boy. You finished saying your goodbyes? Well, how'd it go? Did it make you feel like you want to stay? I see. You must have made a lot of good memories here. You're leaving early tomorrow from Shibuya, right? Make sure you pack up before you head to sleep. Oh, and take that stupid cat with you. I don't want it getting lost and ending up back here. Don't make fun of me. I can go wherever I want all by myself. Huh. It really never stops meowing, huh? Hey, Futaba, what's he saying? Is he sad that he has to leave me? <laughs> Sojiro stupid. What? What kind of translation is that? Let me have a nice goodbye. <laughs> Mona's your responsibility now. Leave Sojiro to me. That's not true. I'll take really good care of him. Oh, man. Even if you're not here, I'll make sure I do my best. So... You go do your best, too. <sighs> Thank you... for everything. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. Such a shit, shit, awful ending. That's just awful. Hey. You got everything? When I took you in, I thought I was the one helping you. But it turns out it was the other way around. Take care. Stop it. I'd rather hear that coming from a lady. Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to have Futaba see you off too. I haven't been able to find her since this morning now. Same with that cat. If you end up back in the city, come on by. I'll at least treat you to a nice cup of coffee. Wait, that means I can't go closing this door, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry up and go. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> after we said hmm? we'd disband we are all in break after all no more entrance exams hmm. I can drive you to the station you really really gotta go uh. shit <laughs> they've even followed us here what should we do need a hand hmm? Hmm? 
Dr. Maruki? You're suggesting uh -huh. we split up? <laughs> Should we? <laughs> Here we go! Come and get us! <laughs> Shall we then? <laughs> There's no charge. If you find yourself struggling in life, you can start over, like me. Remember that. So yeah, if that ends up saving you, then we're square. <laughs> Good luck. Whoa. Damn, man! Those dudes just wouldn't give up! Wish it went smoother, but hmm? I guess this is it. Be sure to eat well. <laughs> we'll see you. Soon, right? If you don't come back, we'll find you there. Hmm? All right, it's time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aw, gotta go already? We don't make the train schedule. See you later, my dude! <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> you taught me to keep my head up, didn't you? Coming with you. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Take care. Huh? Mm. Two words. Two fucking words. Fuck this game. <laughs> uh, 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 sorry. The remaster edition? Wait, is there a different cutscene at the end of this? Okay, let's talk about it. I mean, first of all, that cutscene is awful. Because why is Maruki a cab driver now? Whatever. How do you go from a cognitive science researcher to a cab driver? And I guess Kasumi went from saying I love you to take care. Like, what the fuck, man? I was- I didn't- I, I was so in shock the first time, but... No. That was awful. Game itself, though, was excellent. Definitely... Probably the second best game? Eh, I don't know. There's so much blubber in this game. Like, it, there's so much fat that needs to be cut off. I think you could cut off, like, Mako-chan's palace. I think you could cut off probably even Yusuke's palace. There's just so much filler. Still great, though. Still really good. Um, let's see if there's a final cutscene, though. There is a final cutscene. I just want to see if it's any different in the remaster version. I like how they called it a remaster. I mean, I guess it kind of is, right? But... I'm always kind of interested to hear what people have to say, too. I think... I always think about, like, what character was your favorite. Not so much... Not so much who you romance, but who is your favorite. I think... It's a really basic bitch answer, but I think the best character, especially in Royal, is just Akechi. I think Akechi is just the best one. I would say in Vanilla it's different, but Royal's a completely different story. I'm kind of worried though that the next game, 
and there's Xander Morbus. I'm kind of worried the next game, though, is going to be about the Persona 5 team again, which I really don't want to happen. I want a brand new squad, you know? Just because there's all this, like, oh, I'll see you catchy again, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, well, it better be, it better be like a fucking spin-off game. That's all I gotta really say, though, you know? Wait, Jose was voiced by a girl? Oh, shit. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah, that's it for this one, though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a very long Let's Play. If you made it through everything together, thank you. We'll see what I play next. Enjoy the rest of the credits.
僕らが二度